Good morning, it's Barbara. It's not lovely out, but I'm going out anyway because it's not raining. Look at Dennis's pepper. Look, it's practically all red. I don't know. We're going to be eating this by the end of the week. Maybe something spicy when Christy's here. Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. You saw how chilly it is, so I'm wearing my Corian. Perfect. I just have a, I don't know why, I have a long sleeve shirt on. It's sweater weather. Korean weather. Vicky leaves today. Dennis is going to take her to the airport in a couple of hours. Um, yeah, we've had a nice visit. And I hope she has a good travel day. It'll be an all-day travel day. She has one stop. I think she stops in Denver. It's funny because when she comes, she stops in, like, Dallas. DW. DFW. Dallas, Fort Worth. But on her way home, she goes through Denver. She flies into San Diego. So, Yeah. We had a very nice visit. Her mother was very happy to have her here, and we were too. So, I'll have a quiet couple days, and then Christy comes on Friday. And uh, we have our service in State College on Sunday, and we'll stay overnight Sunday night in State College, and then I'll kind of drive her straight back to Philadelphia Airport to go home on Monday. That's what's happening in my neck of the woods this week. Not feeling very perky, I have to admit. Um, had am, am having bad health news from people I'm close to, and just feels like the hits keep on coming. I have a call into the Unitarian Fellowship Turk, where we're going to have my mom's service on Sunday to ask, because um, I have to order the flowers, and I want to know if they have an easel kind of thing that will hold flowers up, or do they have a small table? What kind of an arrangement can I get for the front of the church for her service? And I will order that today. May end up ordering other flowers too. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, not feeling so perky. Actually, when I was thinking about it, I thought I would bring my knitting out and knit while I did this, but then I didn't do that, so. Which is, you know, typical. But I'll cuddle in my Corian and maybe do some knitting. Knitting would be very satisfying and help me with my you know, I noticed in my vlogs that I have a tendency to look around you know and it's interesting and weird and I'm wondering why I do that. I know that I look at the screen too much instead of looking at the camera so that you know I'm looking at you instead of looking at me. <laughs> I could turn my phone around and just see, you know, and then I wouldn't be able to see myself and maybe that wouldn't be quite so distracting. But I will try to stop looking around so much. It's not like there's anything to see that I, you know, that's different than just the view. It's not like there are birds flying around or whatever. So I don't know what that's all about. But see, I, 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 I flip my eyes. I didn't turn my head though. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's just a tick. One of the ticks you might have noticed about me <laughs> after fifteen hundred and plus vlogs, you know. One thing I did do yesterday was I, um, 
I don't know what the word would be. I muted, I muted somebody on my channel for the first time. I've never done that before. Um, they can still watch, but they can't comment. Yeah. Chrissy said they were a troll and that I should block them, but it turns out you can't block somebody from seeing your videos on YouTube. But you can block them from commenting. And that's the first time I've ever done that. Don't, you don't really have many trolls on my channel. Well, actually just one <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> so, yeah, that was interesting. It was just like, this makes no sense. Why would she watch my vlog if this is how she feels? You know, because she's like, ah, she's a troll. <laughs> like, oh, I guess so. <laughs> I wouldn't think I was big enough to attract trolls. Anyway. That's what I did yesterday. I read a book. I found a book. I'm trying to think of the name of the character. Hogue is his last name. And he goes by Hoagie. Like Hoagie Carmichael. But I don't remember what his first name is. I don't remember the author's name either. His sidekick cop partner he's an author and his you know the cop that he partners with in these adventures apparently is named romaine very v-e-r-y so it's a very 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 weird to read it because he very you know the word very gets thrown in in places that seem weird and like oh yeah that's the guy <laughs> But my library only has one, and it looks like there's like 20 of them. But it was uh, fairly light reading, although there was a murder. Actually, there were two. But it was a quick read, and I, I enjoyed it, and I kind of liked the characters. So we'll see. But it's the only one that's in electronic in my, in my uh, library. I do have to do some research and find out if I can... Uh, join like the Philadelphia Library, um, Philadelphia Free Library. I think Philadelphia Free Library was like one of the first libraries. It might have been something that Ben Franklin started. He did a lot of things in Philadelphia. The first fire company. But I've heard people say that if you live in Pennsylvania, you can join the Philadelphia Free Library. So I'm a, I might look into that. <clears throat> the other thing I have to do is I need to renew my passport. And we figured out that I can do it completely online, even though it expired in January. I think it'll be good to have a passport. So I need to fluff up my hair and have Dennis take my picture. They said no selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Neutral background, no selfies. Have someone else take your picture. So Dennis will have to take my picture. And then I can renew my passport. His got renewed in 2019 because uh, Pearl got a hold of it and put some holes in it and stuff. And we were getting ready to go to Russia. We did a um, river cruise from St. Petersburg to Moscow. And uh, Dennis was concerned that any mutilation of his passport might be thought of as a little hinky, so he got a new one. There was a long discussion in the post office about whether he needed one or not, but they eventually let him apply for it, and he had a fancy new passport. So we are no longer in the same time frames. <laughs> but mine expired in January. Was it January in 2014 that we went to Antarctica? It might have been. I have a passport. I could look. <laughs> in my mind, I think it was 2015. In my mind, 
No, it must be 2015 because 2014, I retired December 31st, 2013. So 2014, January 1st was my first retire, you know, month of retirement. And it snowed like every day. I can remember thinking, oh, I'm retired. What are we going to do today after we shovel? <laughs> but we did take a um, driving tour. We bought a new car, our retirement car, our red station wagon. And we took it on a tour around the country. We we drove it for a month. The dog was dogs. We had two dogs at the time. They were in the kennel for a month. They love it. It's like, it's called Animal Resorts. It's camp. They love it. But anyway, for a month, and we drove around the country. We called it the, you know, it was, it was like the kids tour because Jason was living in Ohio at the time and Christy was living in Iowa at the time. So we stopped at the kids and then continued on to friends and we went through the badlands of South Dakota and up through, um, and uh, friends in Salt Lake City. We were going to visit friends in Boise. My sister was not in Boise at the time visit friends in Boise, but um, their kids got sick, so we couldn't come. So we went up to Seattle area and ha hung out with friends in the Seattle area, down through Oregon and California, and stayed with my sister and her husband for a while. That was our first big trip, but we, we, we went through Death Valley. And it was a drive, it was a good drive, good driving trip saw the country and then we got to Las Vegas and by the time we got to Las Vegas we were like ready to come home and we just kind of came straight home after that <laughs> but it was a good trip but I don't think we went to Antarctica that year I'm pretty sure it was 20 so I don't know why I got my passport maybe I was just getting ready I don't know we had to get visas and things for Argentina and uh, we should have gotten one for Brazil but we didn't and so we didn't get to go to Brazil um, yeah, it was a wonderful trip but anyway my passport has expired and so I'm getting a new one apparently you can do it online without even going to the post office anymore so we'll see how that works out once I get the energy to do that. I'm not feeling very energetic today, I have to say. But I'm feeling cozy. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'll probably find another book to read. Maybe do a little knitting. That would be good for me if I did that. And who knows? Maybe I'll apply for a new passport. Don't count on it, though. But I am ordering flowers. That is my plan. If I don't hear back from the Unitarians, I'll just wing it. I'll just wing it. Meanwhile, please take good care of yourselves. I'm sending all my healing thoughts out into the world. Please, please stay safe and stay safe.